There you go. Can you hear me now? Silsby hasn't lost a regular season game in now two years and one week. Would that streak continue? Tigers kick off to the Bears. Start this one raining out there. LCM Stadium all turf. Still, Jalen Morris gets the ball knocked out. Caleb Johnson right there for the recovery and the visiting team. So Silsby kicks off, ends up great field position. From there, hand off in the backfield to Gary Farr. He breaks a tackle and it off to the end zone there for the score. Silsby strikes first up seven zip. And the LCM looking to respond. Bears now going from right to left and Braylon Lewis puts one up in the air. Right on target to a streaking Carson Mc 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 McLewain. And LCM puts, pulls even, but just uh, like that, Bears back on offense looking to take the lead. Evan Worcester in at quarterback, and he connects over the middle to Caden Reed. LCM takes its first lead of the night, but would that be able to hold? Not if the Tigers have anything to say about it. Ja'Caleb Johnson fakes the handoff to Farr. Instead, he runs himself pretty far in for the <laughs> score. Silsby led 20-14 to 14 at the half as we go to the scoreboard in this one. Well, Silsby stays undefeated in the regular season as they win this one 27 to 21 is the final. Tigers take this one. Silsby getting the victory. That streak continues for the Tigers. And the man behind our camera. Yeah, Cam Sanderson. He was there from start to finish on all of that excitement. He's joining us now. He caught up with the winning coach post game. Hey, Cam. Yeah, guys, I'm here at Batlin Bears Stadium after a big 27-14 win for the Silsby Tigers. I'm standing here with Coach Randy Smith. Coach, you start the season 2-0. Can you just talk about you know how important it is to start off this hot? I mean, well, we just expect to win. I mean, it's it's a it's a day by day process, but we hit the field. We expect to win, and that's what we do. All right, we saw a lot of rain in the first half. Can you talk about maybe how that might have affected you guys' game plan? I mean, all, all weather's Tiger weather. All right, you guys played it close in the first half, but really started to run away with in the second half. Can you talk about maybe what kind of game plan switch you had in the halftime? I mean, they got a really good football team. Hats off to them. Uh, you know, we, we did what we had to do to take control of the clock, and we dominated them up front on defense. And, and defense wins championships. And Coach Harrison, our defensive coaches, did a great job with that. All right, I'm going to pass it over to one of the star players today, Gary Farr. You guys really took care of the game on the ground. Can you talk about just, you know, what fueled you guys to be so good running the ball? I mean, really just our O-line, and we have a lot of a lot of people that can run on the ground great. Me, me Mikey, KG, it's just we can, we can do a lot on the ground and pass. We got a lot of threats on this team. Right, like I mentioned to your coach, you guys really started doing good in the second half. Your defense held them to zero. Can you talk about just the weight lifted off your offense shoulder knowing that your defense was going to keep getting it done? I mean, the players on defense, it's just crazy. Though. And we got to trust our coaches and what they call. And whenever they call, we're just going to go on a mission and do what we got to do on defense, you know? Yeah. All right, man, Gary, thanks so much. Yeah. That's going to wrap it up for week two. Silsby Tigers, 27 LCM 14. I'm going to send it back to you guys.